Oh, is this the album? It is. All right. Do we have any more albums after this? Allow me to check. Give me twenty dollars. 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 Up in the club, give me twenty dollars. I feel on the floor, give me twenty dollars. Nope, no more albums. We got a couple of long requests, but this is uh, it for albums. Cohen Sound, led by Ancient Light, full album. Hexabyte says the best electronic album of the year by the goats of EDM sound design, Cohen Sound. I highly recommend just letting this one play out and to view this as a soundtrack to this uh, to a story or a movie. All right, sounds good to me. Now, when you say play out, you mean just, like, let the songs run through? Or how how do you, uh, or you just mean that, like, figuratively? I don't know. Can we please start a new stream for this one? Uh, if it gets interrupted, it's not really going to change much. I, I don't know. I, I, I at least want to ask why. Listen to Jose here, please. I did see there was the new album. I didn't really peep at it. I didn't like the singles at all. Give me twenty dollars, give me twenty dollars, give me twenty dollars, give me twenty dollars, no wiping in the club, hey, give me twenty dollars. Wiping in the club. Let the songs run through because it's really meant to be listening to as if you're watching a movie. Oh, okay, yeah. So just like don't interrupt the songs. I'm I'm cool with that. That works for me. Um I figure Hexo if you hmm. I'm trying to think, because I don't want to start a new stream because I uh, because of how YouTube notifications work. If three new streams or three new things are released in a day, then it's going to uh, essentially stop new notifications for going out uh, for anything within the next 24 hours of those three notifications going out. So that's I'll just say that's my specific concern here. And if I can prevent that, then I would like to, uh, considering I am actually now currently uploading stuff. So... Uh, that's why I'm trying to figure out uh, if there's a middle ground here. No wiping in the club. Give me twenty dollars. Give me twenty dollars. All right, works for me. Okay, I'm excited for this. Uh, best electronic album of the year. We're just going to uh, essentially do as little interruption as possible and see uh, where it takes me. I would love for this to take me on an electronic journey. So everybody, sit back and enjoy. Uh, let's see what we get out of this. First song, Embers from Chaos. Um, yeah, seeing how I feel, I might um, be pretty brief in between things or even just let stuff run and find pockets where I can talk about it.
Loving how visceral everything is, um, as well as the blends of real instrumentation with electronics, I feel like it's creating something so rich and natural. Um, a very powerful follow-up to the previous song, uh, showing off a lot of cool stuff 
feels very cinematic, like a Dolby digital audio in the theaters. Let's see where it goes. Certainly more groovy and upbeat, occasionally subverting the, in my opinion, for better or for worse, but very much enjoying it. The piano is always a joy when it shows up, and the mix on this is all beyond my comprehension in terms of assembly in just a professional sense. Some made, fun fact, this band made the song specifically for me. Thanks. Cohen Sound. that was very rich I 
want to click a button so bad, you have no idea. This is nutty. Something is brand new, that's right.
Space Heroes, baby. Seems like a cool down, but it's definitely welcomed. like the end of the first act in fact it, yeah because it just sort of ends like that i'll tell you what so i'll talk about it real quick just give my quick thoughts is i feel like it is a mix between feeling like a sort of cinematic journey and also like each of these songs is a journey of their own in terms of just sort of how they build how they develop um and how they have a, a sort of payoff at the end of them um, and I respect the sound. I feel like it's rich. I feel like it's very uh, tactical. I can tell this person has a lot of experience doing this kind of stuff. Um, and it's just sort of fun to see how they take that in a creative way. Uh, so far, I am very much loving what I'm hearing, and I'm excited to see where the journey continues. Next song, Liquid Levity. something underneath the surface at all times kind of making everything feel unstable I really like that it makes it feel uh, consistent among tracks Thank you. 
some cool stuff there. Maybe not the most complete song of this album, but I still like it. dubstep in general or two-step I mean I'm starting to feel like this second half so far isn't really carrying the same weight as the first uh, maybe it's just because it came out of the gate swinging with some amazing ideas but I am still willing to give it a shot the last two songs were just all right yo thank you x17 
This one is very pretty. I like it a lot. One of my favorites of the album. Uh, I mean, absolutely gorgeous. favorite.
contemporaries of Skrillex. Yeah, and Skrillex used to scream in a rock band, so, you know. That song was remarkable. I, I love seeing the ambient tracks here be just as good, if not better, than everything else. Because they really stick. I thought that was unbelievable.
Less distinguishable from some of these other tracks, but still love the ambience on the drop was all right. listening to a full album anyway, so... This album is ending right now if this is how it's just setting the tone for the entire rest of it Thank you. 
I know so. Agree, the orchestral music essentially made this album. I, it would not be anything close to what it is without it. I mean, that's what breathed so much life into it. I've never watched Interstellar or listened to the soundtrack.
What an amazing ending. Holy shit. I'm really glad that it didn't go for something really too gimmicky and just basically played to its strengths, which has been essentially like a... Uh, uh, what is it? Like a, like a nuclear fallout here at the end of the album. Everything very cold and... You know, nothing too out of the box and, and intense. Um, yeah, so overall, I thought this album was fantastic. I think that it is a lot of impressive sounds in the beginning, and then following that up, an incredible display of restraint and understanding of like classical and, and how to just assemble beautiful, impactful ambient music um, that's visceral. Like, it felt very easy to get lost into, which is exactly what it needs to be. It felt like something that took me into its world and allowed me to just sort of, you know, be there for, like, an hour. Um, yeah, I'd give this album an 8+. plus. Uh, I think it's that good. I think this is a great album, a must-listen for the year. Uh, don't miss out on this. This is this is a journey, and I and I love being a part of it. And I appreciate you, Hexo, for sending this in. Is uh, this was just very rich, uh, lots of remarkable sounds here. Again, just very natural sounding. Damn, I don't even know what to write a review for. Am I, uh, are we getting a review on album of the year? Yeah, I'll write one right now. Um, I apologize, I'm typing this up. All right. Cohen's Sound brings one of the best electronic albums of the year, which combines remarkable EDM with gorgeous ambient music. All this is tied together with natural sounding instrumentation and a solid track flow, one of the best of the year for sure. Pretty simple review, but... Uh, to be honest with you... I just liked falling into that. I was able to kind of sit with my thoughts, and then it would all just sort of tie together with the music, and it's very... Uh, what's it? Cathartic? No. Maybe? Yeah, maybe. Anyways, yeah, that was amazing. So if you, if anyone liked that and wants to rate that on, on album of the year, I would uh, absolutely go ahead.